Welcome to the channel, human. Click that subscribe button. I want you to understand that the majority of humans who have discussed this topic, this what would happen if Wesley Snipes fought Michael Jai White, the majority of those humans are, number one, not martial artists themselves. Number two, they don't have information on both individuals. They purely go based off of what they saw in a movie. So let's go over what both individuals can do, what they know. Let's start with Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes started martial arts at the age of 12 based upon my research. And this man has a fifth degree black belt in Shotokan Karate. If you know about Shotokan Karate, that is... A fighting system that will fuck somebody up in a minute. Especially if you're a fifth Dan Black Belt in it. He also knows Capoeira. He knows various forms of Kung Fu. And he knows Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So Wesley Snipes is stacked in fighting systems. On top of being a fifth Dan Black Belt in Shotokan Karate. When you have... A ranking in a fighting system that has belts, of course, because not all fighting systems go by belts. But when you are connected to a fighting system where you go way beyond black belt, that means that you really know that fighting system in and out. Like you could do that shit in your sleep. You can teach a class in your sleep. Now let's go over to Michael Jai White. I know that Michael Jai White started martial arts when he was you know, really young. I mean, he's still a young guy, but you get what I'm saying. I couldn't find the exact age, but he started young as well. And Michael Jai White is also stacked when it comes to fighting systems. He knows, Michael Jai White knows Shotokan Karate. He knows Goju Ryu, which is an Okinawan form of karate. He knows Taekwondo. He knows Kabuto which is an Okinawan form of weapon fighting. He knows Tang Sudo, which is a Korean form uh, of fighting, and, and it's based on karate, to my understanding. He knows Wushu. He knows Jujutsu. He knows Kyo Kushin, which is a Japanese fighting system. And he knows boxing. So with all of that, you're thinking, man, he knows way more than Wesley Snipes. Because I mentioned nine different things as opposed to Wesley Snipes where I mentioned four. But don't let that fool you, though. Because you have to understand that even though I mentioned nine fighting systems with Michael Jai White and technically four with Wesley Snipes, what you have to factor in is that in one, he's a fifth Dan black belt in Shotokan Karate. And in one of those, I said he knows various forms of Kung Fu. That means more than one form. So that could be two, three, four, five different uh, styles of Kung Fu. And if you factor that in and understanding the history of Kung Fu and not all the fighting forms in Kung Fu are the same, then you could argue that he's just as stacked as Michael Jai White, if not more, when you take in consideration how many different forms of Kung Fu that Wesley Snipes has mastered on top of being a fifth Dan black belt in Shotokan Karate. With that said, how do both of them compare to one another? When you look at that, what are their builds like? What are their physiques like? When you look at Wesley Snipes, this is a man that is in shape, very muscular, very fast. Michael Jai White is bigger than Wesley Snipes. He has more muscle. Um, so Wesley Snipes, um, like say with when he did Blade and all that, I think he was maybe 190, 200 pounds. Um, and then Michael Jai White has been anywhere from 210 to 220 to 230 in some cases. So Michael Jai White does have more muscle than Wesley Snipes. And Michael Jai White, is pretty fast for his size. But Wesley Snipes, when you compare speed, he's definitely faster 
than Michael Jai White. When it comes to flexibility, they both seem to be pretty flexible. But I must admit that Wesley Snipes can kick higher than Michael Jai White on a regular basis. If you pay attention to what Michael Jai White does with his kicks, more often than not, they're midsection kicks and they're low kicks. Not to say that he can't do high kicks, but he doesn't do high kicks and high maneuvers as often as Wesley Snipes does. Just pay attention to what they do in their fight scenes. With all that said, a lot of their skill and technique is pretty even. But I would argue in a, phys in a, in a physical confrontation, excuse me, I would argue in a physical confrontation that Wesley Snipes would take Michael Jai White because he's faster. And the fact that he has more training in one particular discipline is very important. Because someone can have a bunch of experience in different forms of fighting, but it's nothing like mastering a particular form of fighting and spending many years doing it on top of multiple other fighting systems, on top of various styles of Kung Fu, which is what Wesley Snipes has acquired during his time of, you know, his experiences with these different fighting systems. Now, someone might say, well, Michael Jai White has the size. Isn't that an automatic win? No, human. When humans say stuff like that, it's fucking silly. And here's the thing. Size only matters when you have fighting skills. I'll say that again. Size only matters when you have fighting skill. Michael Jai White does have fighting skill. But when you compare the sizes... Michael Jai White is not that much bigger than Wesley Snipes. It's not like Wesley Snipes is like 140 pounds or something like that. You know what I mean? Like Michael Jai White does have some size on him. But when Wesley Snipes is physically active, he's a big dude as well. It's just that Michael Jai White is bigger. So when it comes to fighting, sure, you know, 10 pounds, 20 pounds can make a difference. But when your opponent is really skilled on top of not being small themselves, on top of being fast, and have mastered multiple disciplines of fighting, that's only going to take you so far. It's not an easy thing to break down this fight game stuff. But if you had 10 matches, this is how I see it going. Out of the 10 matches, I have Wesley Snipes winning six times. And Michael Jai White winning four times. Just because Wesley Snipes is faster from what I've seen. And the fact that he is quadrupled down in particular fighting systems. Means that he has a greater sense of focus. Michael Jai White's fighting range is broad. But that don't mean that he's great equally in all of them. Like some he might be better than at others. But Wesley Snipes has allowed himself to concentrate more, which means that when it comes to his techniques, they're going to be more precise. They're going to be fast. They're going to be powerful. And Wesley Snipes can do it all. And Michael Jai White is a beast. But I'm just saying, if I compare what I've seen and then also what I know both individuals can do, which goes beyond what we've seen them do in, in their respective movies, I think Wesley Snipes would take Michael Jai White. Now, you're going to have a lot of humans dismiss that, and they're just going to say Michael Jai White because he's the bigger guy, even though he's not that much bigger than Wesley Snipes. But I'm smarter than that. I have what you call a fighting IQ. I spent five years doing martial arts myself. I spent two years in Taekwondo, and I got up to blue and red belt. And then I decided I was tired of that discipline and I wanted to learn something else. And then I spent three years learning Jeet Kune Do under my uncle's friend. And I learned way more from that than I did from Taekwondo because for me, when I was learning how to do martial arts, it wasn't about obtaining status or winning trophies or getting a belt. I just wanted to learn techniques to fuck humans up. Because I was getting bullied so much. I had to do something. 
So, th so my motivation was different, but I also participated in multiple tournaments and I had multiple street fights on the streets, a couple fights at school, and I fucked some individuals up and I could have fucked them up more. So I have defeated black belts before. So my thing is, it's not always the size. It's not always the rank. You're either a good fighter or you're not. But the more experience that you have is going to make it much more likely that you're going to uh, succeed in a physical confrontation. And you can maybe even argue that it could be 50-50. Wesley Snipes would win five times. Michael Jai White would win five times if you had 10 fights. But for the reasons I've told you, I'm leaning more towards Wesley Snipes because of his dedication to specific forms of fighting, him, him having spent so much time doing Shotokan karate and the various forms of Kung Fu on top of Caporetta and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Speed is very important when it comes to fighting. If you have the right kind of speed, with speed comes power. A lot of humans don't understand that. And again, Wesley Snipes is strong too. You know, you can't count him out. When you watch Wesley Snipes move, when he does his fight scenes in his movies, the techniques are very sophisticated. Michael Jai White, more often than not, in his movies, when he does stuff, it looks very pretty, very flashy. It looks nice on camera. If you pay attention to what Wesley Snipes does, his movements are much more effective to take a motherfucker out quickly. That's the difference. So I got... Six rounds going to Wesley, four going to Michael Jai White. These are just my thoughts in relation to both of these men, both of these martial artists who I deeply respect through and through. Thank you for being here, human. You can let me know how you feel in the comment section, but I have seen both men for years, and that's where I stand on this. Terrence out.